Detroit at 11 starts right now. Tonight, a father of seven gunned down on the 4th of July. He was a good person. How his family is honoring him tonight as the investigation into his killing continues. And delivering results. After mail trucks repeatedly tore up a Waterford man's lawn, we took his complaints to the post office. The update we're getting tonight. Plus, good weather for getting outside. High pressures building in. That means some sunshine for your Sunday. But how long will it last? I'll have a look at the week ahead coming up. But we begin with loved ones lifting up the memory of a Detroit father fatally shot on the 4th of July. Thank you for joining us tonight for 7 News Detroit at 11. I'm Darren Cunningham. Jarrett Mays was found gunned down early Thursday morning outside the Peachtree Apartments in Clinton Township. As police continue their investigation, friends and family gather for a vigil on Detroit's east side tonight. 7 News Detroit reporter Tiara Braddock was there and shows us how the father of seven is being remembered. The vigil for Jared Mays was held here on the corner of Lenox and Linville on Detroit's east side. He was born and raised here and his family wanted to have the vigil in the area that he called home. It hurts. It hurts to see someone at 35 years old who had their whole life ahead of them now gone. Lori Mays, Jared's aunt, was one of many people who came to the vigil to honor the father of seven. He was a good person, a very good person, a very loved person, a good dad. Um, and it's, it's very heartbreaking that he is no longer with us. Very heartbreaking. Mays was shot and killed on the 4th of July at his apartment complex in Clinton Township. It was kind of uh, unbelievable, you know, because Jared wasn't that type of person. He was a real uh, strong character guy who just went to work, very passionate about everything he did. Rod Walker is Mays' cousin. He says Mays was loved by so many people. He was really like a role model to me, so I can picture that he was a role model to a lot of others, you know. Mays worked at Chrysler, and according to his Aunt Lori, he accomplished so many things in his 35 years of life. He owned his own company called Shoe Solutions. He worked at Chrysler. He was a nurse by trade. He also was a skilled trades. He had trained for that. He worked at UPS. He worked at Beaumont as a nurse. While Mays' family is mourning his death, they are also seeking answers in his murder. What we do want to see is we do want to see justice. We want people to speak up. This is not a time to be quiet. We want them to tell what happened so this can, you know, this person can be prosecuted. They took a father away from a lot of children. If you have any information that will help police solve the murder of Jared Mays, make sure you contact them. You can find their contact information on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting on the east side.